When the Mach 10 light of death ripped through the dome of the sky, those who had been held up as a myth of the Aegis system, whether it is finally ushered in the destiny of the end of the day. 2019 Tiananmen Square National Day Military Parade, the steel body of the DF-17 missile slowly drove through the observation platform, its unique leading edge of the sharp, straight rear edge of the multiplier body warhead design. The unique design of the warhead with a sharp leading edge and a straight trailing edge is characterized by a cold metallic luster in the sunlight. This moment, the Western military experts suddenly awakened, relying on technological superiority constructed a century of maritime hegemony, its seemingly impregnable foundation has been shaken. Those built on the traditional ballistic missile interception theory based on the defense system, in the face of this new, subversive strikes, suddenly seem so fragile and obsolete. The emergence of the DF-17 is not just an isolated technological breakthrough in China's military science and technology tree, it is an incredible weight dropped on the global strategic chessboard, and its shockwaves are rapidly spreading to every corner of the geopolitical spectrum. Its core deterrent power stems from the Chancellor ballistic technology deployed for the first time in combat. When the missile's booster in the initial flight section to complete its mission to give speed, the wave body glider and its clean separation, like a sword out of the sheath, the flight altitude quickly plummeted to 60 kilometers below the near space region, with nearly 10 mix horrific speed into the most deterrent glide phase. It is in this edge area of the near space that the DF-17 demonstrates its subversive art of surprise defense. Its wave-carrying body design is ingenious, utilizing the surge lift generated at the edge of the thin atmosphere to create a continuous, complex, and unpredictable wave-shaped trajectory. This special aerodynamic shape gives it extraordinary maneuverability, so that in the extreme speed of Mach 10, can still make 5 to 1 0 g high overload maneuver, far beyond the human body to withstand the limit, but also far beyond the traditional anti-missile system interception capability of the boundary. This unique, boost, glide, flight mode, so that the enemy based on the traditional parabolic ballistic prediction model to establish the complete failure of the ballistic prediction error increased dramatically to three times the traditional ballistic or even more, leaving Aegis and other anti-missile systems response and interception window is ruthlessly compressed to the limit of less than 30 seconds. This kind of time pressure is enough to make the most advanced command and control system also stretch to the limit. Qian Shuesen ballistic to make the existing anti-missile system virtually null and void indefensible qualities, not a single technology victory, but from the superimposed effect of the triple physical and technological barriers. First of all, is the adjacent space complex environment brought about by the chaos effect dominates the flight trajectory? In the high altitude of about 60 kilometers, the atmospheric density is extremely thin and the distribution is extremely uneven. Small regional perturbations can be dramatically amplified in the high-speed gliding state, triggering the glide trajectory drastic and unpredictable deflection. The traditional ballistic calculations based on the fixed mechanics model is completely ineffective here. Any attempt to accurately predict the point of its landing efforts become futile. Second, the three-dimensional industrial system necessary for hypersonic weapons research and development has high barriers. Although the United States is well versed in the principles of Chancellor's ballistics and even conducted a lot of basic research in wind tunnels, but due to the lack of two-dimensional theoretical model, into a three-dimensional engineering physical complete industrial support capabilities, always trapped in the laboratory simulation stage. It is difficult to break through the key threshold of engineering practicality. Last but not least, China has made a unique breakthrough in the simulation of extreme flight environments. China's self-developed JF-22 Ultra High Speed Wind Tunnel is a veritable national weapon, with peak operating power comparable to the instantaneous output of the Three Gorges Dam. The wind tunnel utilizes hydrogen-oxygen explosion-driven technology to accurately simulate extreme flight environments at altitudes ranging from 25 to 40 kilometers and Mach 10 to 25, making it one of the world's only super test facilities with this capability. China's research team has conducted a large number of full-size hypersonic vehicle tests on this platform, which can be described as violent tests and accumulated invaluable aerodynamic, thermodynamic, and structural response data, which has provided irreplaceable support for the engineering finalization of DF-17. The same type of hypersonic research wind tunnel in the United States, such as the Lens series, its drive mode is still mainly dependent on electric turbofan or heated light gas in the simulation of Mach number. Test duration and simulation of the altitude range are lagging behind, and China's JF-22 blast drive technology compared to the existence of a significant generational difference. Breaking through the black barrier, 
the ultimate nightmare in hypersonic flight, the DF-17 demonstrates China's unique skills. When the flight speed exceeds Mach 5, the warhead surface and thin atmospheric molecules due to intense friction, the temperature rises sharply to thousands of degrees Celsius, so that the surrounding gas ionization, forming a layer of dense plasma sheath, this layer of plasma is wrapped missile electromagnetic, invisible clothing, can absorb or reflect radio waves, serious blocking or even completely shielding the projectile and the outside world's communication and control signal transmission, so that the missile in the high speed, breakout critical phase of the deaf and dumb state, the warhead of the DF-17 innovatively integrated a specially designed millimeter wave communication array. Electromagnetic waves in the millimeter wave band are characterized by shorter wavelengths, stronger directionality and greater bandwidth. Chinese researchers through in-depth study of plasma attenuation characteristics of electromagnetic waves of different frequency bands found that millimeter wave in specific conditions on the plasma sheath has a certain ability to penetrate the DF-17 as the clever use of this physical characteristic, combined with adaptive frequency hopping technology. In the plasma, black obstacle, in the tearing open a valuable communication in addition, the surface of its warhead is coated with a special coating. In addition, the warhead surface is coated with a layer of intelligent nanomaterial coating, which can dynamically adjust its own electromagnetic properties. According to the real-time changes in the temperature gradient on the surface of the projectile, playing a certain impedance-matching role, further optimizing the transmission efficiency of millimeter wave signals, and adding a key element to penetrate the black barrier. Black barrier to add key weights. This innovative program combining hardware and software enables DF-17 to maintain a reliable data chain connection with the command and control system at Mach 10 in extreme speed flight. To receive necessary commands or target information updates, and to ensure precision strike capability as the world's first hypersonic glide missile to be officially unveiled and deployed in combat, the DF-17's operational parameters are a powerful strategic statement. Its maximum range is up to 2,500 kilometers, a distance that accurately covers all key naval and air bases command centers and logistical nodes in the first island chain in the western Pacific Ocean, placing potential adversaries' forward defenses squarely under its blade. The sustained cruising speed of Mach 10 means that the time from launch to hitting the intended target at the farthest end of the first island chain is compressed to a mere seven minutes or so. This speed brings not only the physical advantage of surprise defense, but also a cruel test of the enemy's decision-making chain and reaction mechanism. Equipped with tungsten alloy armor piercing combat section, with extremely high density, hardness and strength, combined with the tremendous kinetic energy generated by Mach 10 impact, enough to tear through 6-meter thick reinforced concrete fortifications or penetrate the decks of multi-layer ships. Fortified bunkers or large surface ships pose a deadly threat. The sharpness of the DF-17 is not just a physical sense of ultra-high-speed surprise defense. This, Sword of the Republic, hanging in the air, its existence itself is a powerful deterrent signal forcing all potential opponents have to re-examine those who had thought that the solid defense system and long-term reliance on strategic preconceptions when the wave-carrying body warhead in the proximity of space to the posture of Mach 10, along the theoretical guidance of Chan Zusin's ballistic trajectory, depicting the beautiful and deadly arc of flight, it not only breaks through the physical space of the defense boundaries and more deeply shakes the traditional logic of the geopolitical game, 